I 2009 så gick bröderna Liam och Noel Gallagher endelig vär till sitt efter år med höjdligt konflikt i sitt felles band The Legendariske Oasis. Nu är er Noel tillbaka, man The Beatles producent kallar the finest songwriter of his generation. Welcome to welcome to to Scandinavia. Thank you very much. Um, are you easily offended? Not really. No, no. <laughs> I've got quite thick skin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. And how are you with authority? Because we're here with you know, this is the world's best chess player. And, so and, I believe. And and, yeah. and and you know, Percy here, he's quite an authority. And really? I just wonder how you are with that. <laughs> That's right. I'm. I don't. I am. I'm in the rock and roll game, <laughs> so we don't really. We don't shouldn't really, be too comfortable with it. We don't. Well, we don't really have it. Do you know what I mean? We don't apply. Everybody else's rules don't apply, really. Which is why we get into music because it gives you all that freedom. You don't really have authority. Is 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 was that the problem with with you and the and your brother? No, none of you were the leader in in Oasis. Um. I think the prob there wasn't just one problem there were lots of problems but I think the main the main one is that we just grew up and became different people you know he went one way I went another you know and uh, here we are but, but becoming different people I mean you you you, you once said Towards the end of, of, of your history together, you, you said, I, c I can't be in a violent rock band. Yeah, no. <laughs> Which is quite, I, I mean, that's more than growing apart. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. But I'm trying to be nice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you I can mean, get, no, I mean, we're, yeah, we're, but, we're way past yeah. that here now. Oh, we're past that. <laughs> the, re the reason for me leaving the band was it had got increasingly more violent. But the reason I mean, you, you mean physically violent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was physical violence, not by me. I, I have to add, by your Liam. brother attacking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really. There was a bit of that, but you know when they play the rugby, and New Zealand do that dance, the hacker, he would do that a lot. <laughs> in, in the a, studio. Yeah, but in a violent kind of way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and you'd be just like. Well, you know, whatever. But the reason for that was because we grew up and became different people. And, you know, I have my own universe, he has his. And, and uh, I, I remember you were hailed as, I mean, you were hailed as the new Lennon McCartney. You alone. <laughs> and, That's right. And you sort of, you, I, I also remember you sort of confirmed it. Well, I couldn't decide which one I was. So both were okay. So I took both. Yeah. <laughs> and how was that for your brother? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I don't. I don't know. But wasn't that but the no, part of the problem? You getting no, all you... the cred, uh, the credibility, and the, and, the, and the... yeah, but you got all the women. <laughs> <laughs> and credibility's fine, you know, but really, <laughs> at the end of the day, well, you what know, are we all in this older, for? Yeah, women. Really. Agreed. <laughs> and, and greed? No, I'm, we're not in it for greed. No, 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 greed. I said agreed. I oh, agreed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I won't say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, no, I, I just want, I don't want to start, you know, with, with this debate about... Um, oh, I see, okay. As long as offending. it's not because... Whoa, there we go. Okay. I will offend you later. I will, I will find some, some way to offend you. But. Please, please. Um,
Yeah, you, you have you have two sons yourself. I do. Yeah. And and um, I, I wonder what 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 would you teach them about brotherly love? Well, it's up to the, it's up to them. I'm not the kind of I hope not to be the kind of parent that would force my uh, my upbringing or onto them in any way. They've got to decide for themselves. Do you know what I mean? I hope that they will grow up and not be in a band together, so it would be all right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if they could both be solo, that would be great. But Do they fight? Not yet. No, one of them's four another, and one of them's one. Oh. The four-year-old is just working out how he can conquer the world, and the one-year-old is trying to catch the cat. <laughs> and, and this this and, is you and Liam all over again. Well, it's a battle of wills between man and beast, you see. <laughs> and if you can get hold of that cat, you'll kill him. <laughs> is, it, is it true that you, you considered calling, in, calling uh, your son Sven? The Swedish name Sven? I may have made that as a joke in an interview, <laughs> yeah. Be because of the football trainer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's great, he's a legend. I love him. Sven is, is he's he called here? here. Yeah, well, he's not here now, oh. but I, 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 I'd... I'd kiss him on the face if I ever seen him. Oh, really? So you that... Uh... We loved him at City, yeah. I see. Absolutely loved him. But, but, but I, I, let's, let's talk about, about uh, Manchester football, because football is, I mean, that's what we think of when we think about Manchester, where really? you come from. Well, yeah, well, and, and of course, you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and as, as, as far as I understand, <laughs> as far as I understand, there are two teams. No. Well, to, to, you have Manchester United and you have Manchester City. Yeah, we have Manchester City and then some other team. Yeah, <laughs> OK. So the, I understand that Manchester City is your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other lot, they're not actually from Manchester. OK. And they're from outside the city limits. Uh, are you a football... Are you interested in football? Uh, somewhat. OK. Manchester United. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. <laughs> So what's so what's so good about that team? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me the question. <laughs> They're Nothing. winning the league every year. Simple as that. As an example. They win. And they will win it again this year. Rubbish. So, so power equals success? No, no, but they play good football. Uh, I like them. They, are, they, 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 oh. they, they do play good football, but they are evil. Everybody hates them, except that guy over yeah, there who yeah. supports them. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but he's got he's... more money than sense. <laughs> what did he say? He said he, you have more money than, than sense. <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> you got a rowdy is... crowd up on stage yeah, tonight. I, I'm actually thinking of going home now. Let's talk about the dark side. <laughs> 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 um... <laughs> I wonder... I wonder... Um... You yourself described it as the last great rock and roll band. Well, traditional, traditional rock and roll band, yeah. So what about the bands today? Well, what I meant by that was, it was we came along before the internet and before mobile phones and camera phones and all that and social networking and all that kind of thing. So if you wanted to see our band, you had to be there in the room. There was no... If you wanted our records, you had to go to a record shop, a real record shop, and go and buy these things called records. It's all changed now with the internet. You know, you can get music downloaded directly into your brain, you know, <laughs> and that's if you even consider paying for it at all. Do you know what I mean? And we were the last big... Ba we were, I, I think we'll be the last big traditional band that'll ever come out of England like that. Going solo, yeah. do, you, do you ever... I mean, you have, you've done a very critically acclaimed album now, which, and we are going to hear a song from it uh, in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder, do you, did you ever miss your brother in that studio? I'm going to miss him when I get on stage. Not tonight, not now, you know, but when I finally get on tour. Because in the studio is one thing, you get, you know, I, I, I enjoyed that on my own because I could work at my own pace and with the musicians I wanted to work with. But I've never done a tour where I've been the front man before. And I don't think I've got... I think, you're, I think you're born to be a front man. I don't think you can just turn it on at 45, you know. It'll take me till I'm 65 to nail it. 
Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to... Because I used to just love standing at the side, playing the electric guitar really loud. And uh, I loved it. And now I'm going to have to kind of strum and sing. I say that, I don't have to. <laughs> would, you, but, you would, you, would you consider asking him? No. But perhaps in a few years? <laughs> I haven't seen him for two years. Well, give my regards if you see him. I will do. Um, <laughs> Your, your, your band is waiting for you, and, uh, and we so much look forward to, to listening to you. Thank your you very much. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Great